John holds hands? I don't think so at this point. Susan, what would you like the president to do besides fight to win still? What would you like him to do in these final weeks before January 20th? I think to continue to be presidential. He is the president, and he is the president for all of us until January 20th, and we'll see how the cards fall. Okay, Erin, let me ask you, what would you like to see the president do besides continue to fight to turn the results? What would you like to see him do? Yeah, as long as we follow the legal process until January 6th when they count, they certify all the electoral votes, he should not concede. Okay. Yeah, good question. What should he do? He should not concede. He's going to fight all what he can, making sure that we make sure that he doesn't do the legal process. And that's going back to what Susan said. We have to make this go through the legal process. So is that what he should be doing, is just fighting? You say he shouldn't concede, but there's a lot of other things going on with the country, and he's not being visible with any of that. So is this just going to be for the next several weeks all about whether he concedes or not, or is he going to do some things, as Susan said, to act presidential, which we haven't seen a lot? We haven't let him act presidential for four years, so that kind of makes it a little difficult for him. Well, yeah, I agree. He has not acted presidential. But by that, be that as it may, what should he do for the next few weeks? Certainly there's got to be more to the work. Corey Cordell Adams. To win an election that clearly he has not won. Whether you agree with that or not, what do you think? Hold on. Hold on, folks, one second. I want to ask you all a question by show of hands. Breaking into her window in the Unit 101. He's going to be re-inaugurated on January 20th, that he's going to win this election. Raise your hand if you think the president thinks that. Okay, and he opens up the door for everybody that's waiting right around the corner. And they'll come running across here. On Twitter, and a few times he's appeared in public, I'd like you to characterize how you how you sense his mood is, what you sense his mood is like now. Okay, Jack, let's start with you. One or two words. Um, probably frustrated, and that's that's probably the best word I can think of to characterize it. Okay, Angela. Two, three, four, five. This is what they got. Suitcases of ballots in Georgia. Not a crime. Um, they let everybody go except for the female. She had a warrant. Um, it's not against the law to break into somebody's house if you've already been invited into the home. So, there's that. So, trespassing is not a crime in Austin. Our Constitution and our 